Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Carla and I make videos about showing up for yourself. I like to show for myself through weight loss and weight maintenance, through personal development, self-care, mental health support. And these are the kinds of things that I like to share with you on my channel. And another way that I like to show for myself is through fashion and beauty. I like to show up for myself every single morning by getting dressed up in both with my clothes and with my makeup. It just sends a message to me every morning that I'm worth putting that time in for myself. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you this makeup tutorial of how I created this kind of everyday look. Now I appreciate that for a lot of people this might seem quite extreme for an everyday look and this might be something more for a going out look. I do even more for going out look but we won't get into that today. But this is something that I tend to be able to do within about 15 minutes. Um, now I know that might seem like a lot of time but for me that's something that I like to dedicate every single morning to looking the best that I can. Um, I'm also on camera most of the time so it's nice for me to get dressed up but even if I'm not even if I'm going out or even if I'm just sitting at home all throughout the pandemic I put my face on and I put my clothes on because it makes me feel really good inside so if you'd like to know how I did this look how I did this makeup look this is what I do on a daily basis and um, something similar to this I'm also going to be recording a version where it's more like a pink shade, like a pinkier tone. So if that's something that you'd like to see, please let me know in the description box down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you'd like to see more. And without further ado, let's hop in and see how I do this face. So this is a real like every day, every morning kind of routine for me. So you're going to have to bear with me because we've got kids downstairs. We've got trains going. We're, we're up there. But, okay, so I've started off, um, I have my skincare routine done, and if you want me to do a separate video on that, let me know. Um, I always put SPF on top of my moisturizer. I use the Nivea Sun 50 Anti-Age Anti-Pigment Q10. I always use this one, it's like 12 euro. I've been using it for a really long time and I really like it, it's really moisturizing. And then as a base, I have the Say, which I need to buy more of, uh, Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. I love, this product and I love this brand. I am so excited to try some more stuff from them. So that's say, um, so that's just kind of gives me like a nice like glow as we go. Next, I'm gonna start with my foundation and I have been using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in shade two exclusively for the last while. Um, I've been using it for the last, this is my second tube of it and I just love this product. So I'm going to take a damp Sosumi blender and I'm going to tap in on my hand. So I've just put like a pump here and I'm going to begin tapping this out. Now, I like to try and get my makeup done within 15 minutes. I'm aware that 15 minutes might seem like a really long time for some people, but this to me is a way of showing up for myself every single day. I'm dressed, I'm ready to tackle the day and I just want to get my myself feeling the best that I can feel. So I basically tap this all over my face into the crooks of my nose around here, but I'm avoiding my under eye. Sorry, I'm looking up in the viewfinder because that's what I'm using as a mirror right now. So I'm avoiding my under eyes and my eyelids, everywhere else I'm going for. So we're tap, 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 tapping. So this is a damp beauty blender um, or beauty sponge. Um, I really like the So Sue Me one. I really like the Real Techniques one. I personally don't see the point in spending four times more um, on the Beauty Blender because I don't think it's better, to be perfectly honest with you. I think this one is like unbelievable. It's like my ride or die. Um, I've had this for so long. Like I keep buying them uh, when they get like minging, minging. Um, and I just run this under the tap with hot water and use some soap to clean out anything that's on it and then wring it out so there's like there's no water coming out of it and it's just really damp and it just blends your makeup beautifully now i have really dry skin so i like to do things that make me dewy and make me feel really good so i don't want anything that's like cakey or heavy on my skin so that's my first layer of my on my face next we're gonna go in with concealer and with um some eyeshadow primer I use two types of concealer. One is for my under eye and one is for my nose. My nose tends to get very uh, red throughout the day. So I like to use the Liquid Camouflage by Catrice. 
Um, I use shade 10 or 20, um, depending on how I'm feeling. I think 10 is a little bit light for me, but we kind of deal with it with bronzer and stuff later on. So I'm literally covering my schnoz with this. And then for my under eyes, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer in the shade 2, Fair, uh, which is the same shade as my foundation. It's the same um, range. And I'm going to do about two lines under here and then one at the side to help me lift up my face, like lift up my eyes. And then I'm going to go in back in with my damp beauty blender and I'm gonna tap all that in. So we're blending in on the nose, making sure that's nice and covered. And then under eyes. And if you find that your um, concealer isn't like playing ball with you, you might need to dampen your beauty blender again, but or your beauty sponge or whatever you wanna call it. So that looks pretty good. So see like that's really taken away much of the darkness. There's still a line there because we're still human. Lovely. Next, eyeshadow primer. I have oily eyelids and I have to use an eyeshadow primer every single day. Otherwise, my eyeshadow will not stay on. And my choice of eyeshadow primer is the um, eyeshadow primer potion by Urban Decay. I've used a lot of eyeshadow primers in my time and this is the only one that really works for me. Um, I don't mind the NYX one but it's just not as good as this. This to me is worth it. So I just applied it and I'm just tapping it in with my fingers. I don't want to be removing this uh, product, I want this to be kind of like tapped into my skin. And then I'm going to take the beauty blender and I'm just going to give it a wipe over just to smooth out any lines. Next, I'm going to set all of this with some powder. Today I'm using this By Terry Ivory Fair Compact Expert Jewel Powder. Now this one, as you can see, is jewel, so there is like a pink on the inside. I don't actually use the pink, I just really like the outside one. Um, and I tap it off and I'm just using a fluffy brush and I'm just going to tap, tap, tap and then tap, tap, tap underneath my eyes just to set everything and then around my nose as well. And the purpose of the powder is just to set the liquids into place. Because I still want to have a nice dewy look on my face, I'm only setting where I will get oily or where things will like crease, as in under my eyes. Okay, now we've made our face very kind of white and very one dimensional, so it's time to start adding dimension into my face. And I'm going to do that with two products, some bronzer or contour and a blush. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush. Um, this is an expert face brush. And I'm also gonna take my NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. And the reason I do that is that it just makes the product not as intense when I'm putting it on my face. Um, it just kind of helps to kind of diffuse a little bit. Um, what I'm gonna be using as my bronzer is the um, Sosu Cosmetics Contour Stick in Cool. And these are really affordable. They're available in most pharmacies. They're available online as well. And I'm just gonna tap the brush into, sorry, it's not focusing on my face anymore. Can we focus please? There we go. Um, and now I'm going to basically carve out my cheekbones. Like so. A little bit more product on. And I'm tapping because this is like liquid to liquid. I don't want to be moving what the product that's underneath. So I want that to stay where it is and I'm just gonna be tapping up. So I'm aiming for my cheekbones and a little bit higher, not too far down. And a little bit under my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go into my temples, up into my forehead and the same on this side. And then just whatever is left, I'm just gonna bring it down here to contour and carve out my cheekbones or my cheekbones my chin bone okay i'm going to take another brush one of these little um stippling brushes and i'm just going to use a tiny bit of the product i don't know why i tapped it have it and i'm just going to give a tiny bit of definition to the inside of my nose now i am like delicately tapping this here really really gently now i'm going to take my wet beauty sponge again or my damp sponge 
and I'm just going to pat all of that in so it kind of blends really nicely into my face. So we're just blending those layers in together. So that's the contour. So that kind of gives me a bit of warmth. It gives me a bit of definition back into my face. Next, I'm going in with blush and I'm going to be using the Glow Coral um, So Sumi. I don't know what these are called. Are they called sticks or something? Blush stick, possibly? It's anyway, the color is Glow Coral and I love this color. It's got like a little bit of sparkle in it, a little bit of sheen. It looked, when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, that's a big product. I'm not gonna be able to use that, but actually, it's lovely. And I'm using another Real Techniques. Um, this is just the brush, blush brush. I love Real Techniques. They're all vegan and they're made by influencers, Sam and Nicole Chapman. And they're just a fantastic brand. And they are makeup artists, first and foremost, Pixie Woo. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smile and I'm gonna see my cheekbones and I'm just gonna pat this on. And now we've got a good bit more definition into the face, nice bit of color. And you can just do like, this is the real like hot girl summer thing to do. It's just a little bit on the top of the nose. Do with it what you will. So that's the base done. Now we need to start doing the features. And today, of course, we're gonna start off with the eyebrows, the window to the face, or the curtains to the face. I get my brows laminated, um, which means they're basically permed. Um, and they stand up a little bit better by themselves and I also get them dyed. Now, I haven't had them done, I'm due to have them done, but I don't, can't get an appointment at the end of the month, so, at the end of October. So, we're improvising. Now, I've been using this product now exclusively since um, I had my brows laminated and this is like a game changer for me. So, I've just brushed my brows up and I am using the NYX Lift and Snatch Profi uh, brow tint pen and this is like a little brush they will not it will not focus anyway it's like a wee brush oh it's raining and basically i think i need it i need a little assistance i need a mirror for this we don't want to be crazy with brows can you see me and basically i am going to start in the middle and i'm going to fill out in brush like strokes my hair and this, I like a very um, like 90s thick brow, you know, or yeah, early 90s before we all started to pluck them too much. Now I look mad yellow on the screen. I promise I'm not that yellow um, in real life. So we are just swiping up and basically creating brows because I don't have much brows because I plucked them all off and then I'm just gonna go over the top and do a few little bits here. Okay, brows done, that's it. Like two minutes, amazing. Now, because I'm wearing something brownish today, I wanna go in like a browner theme with my makeup. I don't wanna be wearing too much pink. I like to wear pink when and like pinker colors when I'm wearing like more reds and pinks and mauves, that kind of color. And when I'm not, I like to go in more of the browner kind of neutral. So I'm gonna be using today the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This is an amazing palette. It's so beautiful, you can see yourself. Um, it's just so gorgeous. And I'm going to be taking, first of all, I'm gonna be taking just a fluffy brush and then I'm gonna be taking this crease color here tapping it off and then I'm just gonna be doing windshield wiper motions on my crease as it says and I'm not gonna be like trying to bring it down too much I just want to kind of flick it out so we're like getting that kind of sultry eye look I'm gonna do the same on the other side and you want to be doing really light motions this is really like delicate work. We're not like shoving it into the face, you know? So a little bit of definition. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush, like about this size. Sorry, you can't really see it. I'm very clean, as you can tell. And I'm gonna be taking this smoke color here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the outer corner and I'm gonna bring that down onto my lash line.
and a little bit up into the crease. So we're just basically concentrating all the product, that darker product, the smoky one, out in that outer corner and into the lash line. And then I'm gonna take this brush again and I'm gonna blend those two together, light motions. And you can always add a little bit more of that crease to help blend it out. I'm gonna do the other side, I'm not gonna talk. Now I'm going to take that small brush again and I'm going to use the crease colour back to this first one and I'm going to go underneath and concentrate kind of here where my corner joins up and the same on this side, try not to poke myself in the face. Last thing, I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this and I'm just going to clean up this edge here. So this is plain, this is nothing on it and I'm just cleaning up that edge. Next, it's eyeliner time and I'm going to be using the NYX Epic uh, Ink Liner which is the best liner out there at the moment. This is it. NYX Professional Ink Liner. This does not transfer. I have greasy eyelids. Anything else that I use, I cannot because it will just transfer over to my lids. I have hooded eyes, so it just doesn't work. This is my product for me. It's a pen as well. It's very similar to the brows. And what I'm gonna do is start in my outer corner and I'm gonna work out towards my brow. Not all the way, but like that direction. And then I'm gonna come back in And now I've got a, an empty triangle. I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to begin in light motions, filling in the rest of my brow. Come up real close. Done. Next, we're gonna curl our lashes and mascara. I have this Catrice um, eyelash curler. I cannot do mascara now without curling my lashes. Take my mascara, and I'm sorry, but I have no idea what mascara this is. <sighs> Ivy or something. I got it on Cult Beauty in a box, and it's like amazing. Um, I'll link it down below if I can find it. Um, I'm really sorry that I have no idea what it's called. But I always go bottom lashes first. And then top lashes, wiggling at the root. And a little bit down on top. You wanna get all those lashes. Uh, I think my favorite mascara is the um, Sculpted by Amy. I just don't have them out of it at the moment. Sorry, my camera died while I was doing my mascara there, but my mascara is done. We are finished. Last thing is my lips. Today, I'm gonna be using the Vive uh, Lip Liner in Bark with the uh, liquid lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics in Built to Last. I definitely need a um, mirror for this. So. I'm also, as you can see, this is quite blunt. Can you see this? To quote the beautiful Lydia Millen, Gordon, if you are trying to do your lip liner with a blunt lip liner, then it's like trying to have sex with a flaccid penis. So, here you go. So, bottom lip line done. And then I'm gonna do, I don't overline my lips.
lips are aligned and I'm just going to pat this in to kind of blend it into my lips a little bit more. Get this line a bit more defined. I like that really defined Cupid's bow look. I don't personally do not like the filler look um, where you kind of um, mix the two. Mix your two Cupid's bows and then I'm going to take my liquid lipstick. Actually a little bit pinker than I'd like. I think I'm gonna go something else. I think today we can do Hawkwind. Let's go for a much darker lip. Why not? It's nearly, it's basically autumn. So I'm gonna go Hawkwind by KVD. I'm sorry, they don't do these anymore. They've changed the whole formula. They've changed all the names to, from cool names to crap names. Yeah. Here we go. All done. Ready for the day. How long did that take me? On camera, took me half an hour. <laughs> I'm gonna take my hair down. I need to get some jewelry on. And we are good to go. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this makeup tutorial with me today. If you have, please leave me a leopard down below for my leopard print top and I will be back with you all um, very shortly. And if you do like this type of thing, if you'd like to see more makeup, more beauty and fashion for me, please let me know because these are really big passions of mine, which you guys know. So I love you and leave you. Thank you so much. Bye guys.